our first guest is one of our favorites. Please welcome Melissa McCarthy. Hi, guys. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi, Melissa. So good to see you. Tell everybody Hi. where you are. I am in Australia, so I'm in tomorrow. <laughs> you, you are in tomorrow. What, what time tomorrow is it? It's Friday, uh, what is it, nine, like quarter to 10 a.m. Great. Friday. How will Friday be for us? Horrific. <laughs> Good. Unless, unless Andy keeps eating uh, Santa's balls and then it's yeah. gonna be dicey. I'm sorry, it, it was not Santa's balls, it was yum nut, not, not Santa's balls. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I think we can't say that. That's a different, uh, that's a different holiday treat, sorry. Right. <laughs> It sure is. Maybe, maybe those are uh, served down under. <laughs> oh, it's, it's like the joke that just keeps giving. <laughs> yes, it is. Um, hey, so Australia, it's very, very uh, shut down there. I mean, quarantine is very strict there, right? It is a real thing. Like we, uh, we first of all, I was like, they're never going to let us in. And then it worked out because we came down here to uh, shoot a show. And we got off of the plane to an empty airport, which is very surreal. Like they're doing an incredible job here. It's like full military. No one else is really there. It's like one plane at a time. We're in masks, we're in these shields. You have to give all your paperwork. And everything I had to fill out, I'm supposed to be doing the kids' paperwork and mine. I just kept, I was like, maybe it's panic that I can't, I was like, I can't, I can't see anything. And they're like, you're having your IDs out. And I'm like, I'm so sorry, I'm having trouble seeing. And then I was like, maybe it was the plane. Like, it's such a long plane ride. I was like, something's happened. The pressure's got me. I'm not a panicker, uh, but I could not see. Now we're going all the way through. People are asking questions. They're doing our temperature checks. My, I can't fill my paperwork out. And I truly am like, I guess this is when I go crazy. This is it. And then, then we're 20 minutes in to all of this stuff of me just like, and then somebody goes, pardon me, ma'am, and then pulls off. There was a protective frosted shield over my face shield that I didn't know was supposed to come off. So I literally was like, I'm so, I'm apologizing to Australia for my blindness. And then somebody's like, hey, dingbat. Yeah, you, uh, <laughs> right. You still have a cool in your face. I was oh. like, cool. Well, at least you're not going crazy, and we know that now. Where are you in Sydney? No, we're in Byron Bay, which oh. is like a beautiful little, uh, about eight, I think it's like eight hours north of Sydney. Yes, that's supposed to be, I've never been to Byron Bay. It's supposed to be beautiful. But tell me what mm -hmm. kinds of things, because I know there are so many animals uh, and insects and uh, reptiles that can kill you. Everything that can kill you it's lives everything. there. Everything, and every version of everything. It's like the flies are literally like this big and people like one lands on you somebody nicely will just smack like the bejesus out of you there's also water dragons that can be like three and four feet long that nobody seems to mind nobody from here seems to mind they're this long we were in a restaurant it was like an outdoor covered thing and just one comes right at the table going under the table so i go back over the chair yelling i'm trying to get out of there like it's a dragon coming at me. And everyone there just looked at me like, what's this crazy lady doing? I'm like, does anyone, they're like, yeah, yeah, it's a dragon. Yeah. Like, my point, my point is it's a dragon. Right. And nobody can be minded. That is crazy. Are like this. Yeah, yeah, no, it's, it, I know, I've, I've, I've heard about all the, the stuff that, have you seen like the, the kangaroos and koalas and stuff? Wallabies we see, I haven't seen kangaroos yet. We're gonna try to go to like a place that rescues them and rehabilitates them, but I haven't seen them yet. I am slightly terrified of the big ones because like those big red ones that are like just yoked. They look like they just work out all day. Yeah. I'm a little afraid that I'm gonna be the one that they're like, boom, like yeah. I don't like you. But I'm, I'm hoping that doesn't happen. I also now, here's something fun. Oh, it's just my EpiPen I carry. <laughs> Something bit me here, and half, 92% of my body blew up in a way that I didn't know was possible. Uh, and now, I just, pretty cool, I carry an EpiPen, because nobody knows, they're like, could, could be anything. So many things could wow. be done this year. My lip was out here, my eye was like this, and I was like scratching like a hound dog, and they're like, could be one of a thousand things. I'm like, 
great. Wow. You didn't feel it bite you? Like, were you sleeping or when did something get you? I, it got me at, during the night and I woke up and I was like, I'm going to say something, something, something. <laughs> and I was like, when, 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 something, something, something. Okay. And my lip was about four times the size. So I kept trying to say, I think something's wrong, but it just came out like, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> and then when he called me and he like turned the light on, I was like, does something look different? He was like, oh God. <laughs> but I think, and this isn't just for him. You, it's publicly known he's a hypochondriac. I believe in all I see, his first response was like, get away from me, because what if it's contagious? That's a loving husband. It a really loving husband. Um, there is nothing worse, though. I mean, obviously, I haven't had that kind of thing, but there's nothing worse than waking up in the morning and being bit, especially in your face, and knowing something was crawling on your face while you were sleeping at night. That is the worst feeling when you go, oh, my God, something was actually on my face while I was sleeping. What's, what's going on at night? And then here, it's like, it could be, you know, it's like somebody else at work was like, oh, I woke up once with a huntsman spider on my stomach. And she goes, it was almost the size of a dinner plate. And I was like, okay. Wow. You guys are awesome. Yeah, I would sleep in a, like a wetsuit there if I, if I. <laughs> um, hey, we have to take a break and uh, we're gonna talk about uh, your new movie and everything that, uh, everything you wanna talk about, anything you want. Oh. Because we, we just love listening to you. I love you. Um, <laughs> we'll, we'll take a break. We'll oh. be back. I'll wait right here.